What's up guys, it's your boy Pinoy Shinobi and I'm gonna be doing a breakdown of the new trailer for Modern Warfare 3 Survival Mode. So right off the bat, we get an introduction to Survival Mode in a text form. Uh, if you wanna go read it, you can pause the video or go watch the trailer yourself. First piece of action that we get is based in London and as you can see on the screen, there are three markers. One has a picture of a frag grenade, one has a picture of a handgun, and one is of air support. Now these three things signify the different types of, quote, armories that um, Infinity Ward put in a game where you can buy different types of weapons, equipment, upgrade your weapons and buy like air support to help you through the game. Now if you look here, this guy actually gets a kill streak and he gained $500. Now if you looked at the bottom left corner of the screen, it was at $500 and then when he got the kill, it went up to $1000. So what that tells me is after every kill streak that you acquire, you get the amount of money that is right next to the bar. And also if you look below, it says headshot. So um, I believe maybe if you get a headshot, you get $500. Or maybe, you know, if you get a number of headshots, you get $500. I don't know how it works. But if you look on the bottom left corner of the screen throughout the trailer, it actually does change. It's not always kill streaks. It's not always headshots. It changes to different things like rampage, quad kills. And I'm not too sure what determines what goes there. Team, ground forces cannot get to the LZ. It's just the two of you from here on out. Yes, you heard it yourself. This is two player, not like zombies, which is four player. This is only two player, so. Hmm, will that take away from the fun? I don't I personally don't think so. I always played zombies on two players anyway. This screen is pretty interesting. It's kind of like in multiplayer how you can rank up. Well, I guess in survival mode you can also rank up and you get new unlocks such as perks, maybe equipment, maybe kill streaks, and maybe even attachments. Uh, but on this particular screen, the guy has just unlocked three new perks, extreme conditioning, sit rep, and steady aim, which I guess if they have it on this, they'll probably have it in multiplayer also. So, um, and also it shows the little symbol for air support armory so I guess that's the particular air, um, the particular armory that he has to go to to purchase these new unlocks now this is our first look at one of the three armories so if you take a look it shows all the different weapons you get the UA USAS the M16 the AK-47 the ACR and there are like different uh, classified weapons and there's one at the bottom which the character can't you know purchase yet because he doesn't have enough money so I'm assuming the classified weapons you actually unlock as you progress and rank up as we saw in a previous screenshot and if you look at the bottom this is actually pretty interesting it says share $500 which is the equivalent to points in zombies so um, you know in this game you get dollars instead of points but the difference is in zombies you couldn't share points so if, you're, if your teammate wanted to hit the box but didn't have enough points he just couldn't so in this, if you have enough money and your partner does not, you can actually lend your money or give your money to him so that they can purchase what they need to keep going. Although I don't really see that happening since, you know, in zombies, everyone was always fighting over who was going to buy the next toy, greedy bastards. Also another thing, guys, unlike zombies, by the look of this screen at the top, you can actually purchase a max ammo instead of waiting for an ammo drop. Weapons armory is online. Ammo and weapons upgrades are available. Alrighty, let's see what kind of equipment we got. We got frag grenades, we got flashbangs, we got five claymores. Damn, that's a lot of cream pie. Alright, we got C4 and what? Auto grenade launcher. What the hell is that? <laughs> uh, auto turret. You know, that's probably like a sentry gun. Last stand. So, yep, yeah, it seems like the perks are allocated to random armories. So, you're not always going to get it at a certain army like equipment as is shown here. Alrighty, let's take a look at air support armory. So first of all, we get the Predator missile, you know, the Predator drone, which is the magical laptop that you open up and you get to come down as a missile from the sky. Delta Squad, which I presume are soldiers which come down from helicopters in the sky, which we'll see after the screen cap. Right Shield Squad, 
which I guess is the same thing, but guys with right shields, and two classified ones, which I guess are the AC-130 and Chopper Gunner. That's just my guess. Close air support is available for tasking. I just wanted to point this out real quickly. If you look at the bottom right corner of the screen, it says, you know, on the D-pad, if you press right, you get two, and it shows an American flag. Now, what piece of equipment or kill streak could that possibly be? My guess, Uncle Sam comes out and lays the smack down. Now right here, this guy, he throws like what seems to be like a care package marker and it lets off, you know, it's smoke. In this game, it's purple, you know, in uh, Modern Warfare 2, it's red, in Black Ops, it was blue, and this one is purple. Anyway, besides the point, like, you know, ooh, pretty colors. Anyway, so he throws the marker on the ground and it appears that this AC-130 in the sky, big, like Big Brother and Spec Ops, starts shooting down and raising hell where he threw the marker. So... I can only assume that if you threw that marker in a group full of like, I don't know, 50 enemies, it would come down and raise hell on those enemies. But that's just a guess. Enemy attack dogs near your position. Be advised, they are carrying explosives. Now, as you see Spike there trying to rip your partner's face off, this guy on the walkie-talkie says uh, the dogs have explosives on them. So not only will they bite your face off, but they'll blow your ass to pieces. Return of the Juggernaut. Oh, shit. Ah, the date when many gamers' lives will be ruined again. But wait, that's not the end of the trailer, is it? We actually do get a glimpse of multiplayer with Mr. 402 himself, Robert Bowling. Not only did Mr. 402 get owned, but it seems like there's some kind of juggernaut kill streak of some sort. Now, this is just a guess. Now, he did get killed with some kind of bouncing Betty thing contraption i don't know what the hell that was maybe as like one of those new airdrop things that we heard about on kataku anyway this is a multiplayer game uh private match maybe if you look at the top left corner brand new revamped map so that's pretty cool now we can actually tell you know dimensions if they're upstairs downstairs and such um bottom left corner just shows that it is multiplayer you know winning 700 points probably like a free for all team deathmatch or something i don't know um, kill feed, it shows that he got killed by an AC-130, but I didn't see any AC-130 stuff going on, did you? We'll find out when the game comes out, but this is what I want to talk about. Now, he, the character had a Predator missile, and now it became Juggernaut. So, basically, there's a kill streak inventory, and there's a new kill streak, which apparently is some kind of Juggernaut, who knows? That would so be overpowered, but hey, we'll see when the game comes out. Multiplayer world premiere at Call of Duty XP. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and share the video.